What's going on YouTube? Tony here back with another video. I am currently on my TCL 20 Pro 5G. I just wanted to go through the device and what better way to do it than to just use screen record and actually show you exactly what it's on my screen. So here's my setup here. These are my most used apps and if I swipe over this is my Google uh, Now Feed which is pretty interesting. You got a bunch of stuff on here, YouTube videos, and just whatever currently interests you will pop up on here. So you have this feed here. And if I swipe home, I'll show you I have one home screen. There's the widget, TCL widget. And then if I swipe over, I got two home screens. And that's about it. That's how I keep it. I got uh, these are my main use apps here. And I'm going to show you if I scroll from the bottom up, everything I have in the app drawer. These are all the apps that I have currently running on my TCL 20 Pro. This thing is pretty smooth. I really, I think this is the best TCL phone that TCL has made. I love the IR remote right there in the center. Use it daily as a um, IR blaster, which is awesome. Got the music app bunch of other apps you can see I don't have a lot of games on here we have a FM radio app here uh, you need to plug in the FM this comes built in with the, uh, the TCL 20 Pro you can just plug in a headphone jack or plug in some headphones and you can use the wires as an antenna and it will give you FM radio which is pretty neat so FM radio um, we got this. We're going to we're going to the settings real quick, and I'll show you everything that's in settings. And that's pretty much all the apps I have installed. Um, my TCL 20 Pro. We'll get out of here, and we'll swipe down. And you can see I'm screen recording. Swipe down again, and I'll show you all the uh, swipe down notification toggles I have up here. I can see I got my. Uh, Wi-Fi, cellular, 5G. Don't recommend you use 5G on Google Fi because it sucks up a lot of data. Got my location turned on. Screen recording is what I'm using. I do have dark mode. This is an AMOLED display. And that's it. So now we'll go into settings. And we'll go through the settings real quick and uh, show you some of the features that this phone does have. Let me go back. We do have home and lock screen settings you can go in here and change your wallpapers we got some live wallpapers here which I'll show you these are all live wallpapers pretty nice you can see them moving live wallpapers they're all real nice I got the, the one I have on now is actually a live wallpaper also and then we have some static wallpapers they're pretty much the same but they just don't move and then uh, we'll go back. Got the default launcher. We got themes. You can change. You can use the round themes. You can use the square themes. Or you can use the freestyle themes. But they're like mixed with the round and the square. So currently I'm using the round. And then we have home screen. Set. Oh, you got the default app launcher. You can switch your launcher here. You can, if you do have an after. Uh, third party um, launcher it should appear on here so we got a uh, simple launcher and uh, the regular I haven't tried simple launcher maybe we'll try that see what it does oh so there is simple launcher these icons are huge so this is what it does and you basically have friends, family control, the phone call, and six um, apps. Swipe up from the bottom, and you got it. Oh, there's this. This is the icons are like huge. We're getting out of here. We're gonna switch back to the default launcher, and it won't go back. <coughs> And then we'll go back to settings. And we're just going to go through settings. And I want to show you. Oh, in the display. We do have. <coughs> oh, 
home screen wallpapers. We got the TC. We got always on display, which I have mine turned off. We also have home settings. You can change your grid sizes there. You can do different grid sizes. You can um, go back. Home screen. You can do five by six. You can do, I think the most you can do is, yeah, five by six, all the way down to four by six. And then you have lock screen style for the always on display. I'll show you though. There, there's the two different lock screen styles. You guys have a TCL style and then you got the classic. Then you got the always on display. I have mine turned off. I'll turn it on. But you can choose a style. They got different styles on here. Real nice stuff. You can add more. You can do all kinds of things to the uh, always on display. You can schedule a timer. And if we go into notifications on lock screen, you can do show all or don't show any notifications. Um, lock screen shortcuts. You can add some widgets, I mean some apps on there if you want to. This has a whole bunch of customizations. Lock screen message, I got mine's on. Raise to wake and wake screen for notifications. What I, I think what I didn't see on here was double tap to wake. But that is display and then we have next vision. Basically calibrates the screen to your liking, however you like it. You can do reading mode, eye comfort, sunlight display, color mode and temperature. Here's four different options. You can tinker with that if you want. I have mine set it's how it came out of the box. And then we got reading mode, eye comfort, and sunlight. That's next vision. It's pretty nice that you can uh, change the screen to your settings. Then we have... Ring volume, these are the sounds and vibrations. Ring tones, I think it comes with one already. Let me see a TCL one. It's also vibrating while it's ringing. You can, you can change that up here. Also vibrate for calls. So you can I have. I'll turn mine on. Um, notification. Ringtone glow. set this up also I, I normally have mine set from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. like it like it is on the bottom but uh, you can tinker with this and more sounds I got all these disabled uh, dial pad tones screen lock sounds 
touch sounds vibrate and stuff like that so TCL comes with a bunch of um, uh, customizations on here notifications you got a notification light ring that goes around the display I haven't showed that so notification light displays notifications with light effects I have it turned on I'll show you some of uh, you can you can also change the color on here you can change the pattern effect one that's the other effect I think you can change the colors on here I'm pretty sure it's pretty nice I like that I'll leave mine there use LED flash mini notifications I got that turned on I don't really know what this is I'll have to get into this on a later video but that is that buttons and gestures we do have a smart key which is on the left side and you can uh, have it do different things you can change and put specific apps to do it so that's cool uh, let me go back to that. What am I doing? Gestures. You got the flip to mute, three screen, three finger screenshot. Oh, double tap to wake is on for some reason. Touch the screen twice. There it is. It, it was enabled. I wonder why it didn't work for me. Um, it's gestures. We also got the navigations. You can use buttons, gesture navigation, and you, it shows you demos on how to, how to use it simple stuff and in advanced features you got privacy protection remote lock edge bar which is this thing on the side right here swipes over and it gives you those features pretty nice you can add any app you want on the side and you got the tabs here are the tabs I'm only I'm currently just using uh, two but that's that edge bar it's pretty nice I like edge bar and then we have gaming mode fingerprint um, gaming mode basically uh, you can you can see here what it does I'm not really into gaming so I really don't know one-handed mode screen recorder is what I'm using now you got the mic on 1080p is the highest resolution it records in multiple user and that's that and then you have smart manager you can go in here cleans up your device and frees up memory also gives you the battery and all that notifications very useful and security and biometrics is basically the fingerprints and all that and we do have a security update March 1st it's kind of behind we'll see when um, it comes down I'll definitely let you guys know but quick run through of the TCL 20 Pro 5G we got permissions activity I'm not gonna go in there I'll show you the storage this is a 256 gigabyte with I believe it has six gigs of RAM let me go back and find out pretty sure it has six gigs of RAM but anyways I'll show you when I get to uh, system Google screen well-being digital well-being accessibility and display usual stuff and then system about the TCL you can see there it has 256 gigs of of uh, storage and six gigabytes of RAM and there you got you got the pixels megapixels on the camera count you got 32 megapixels up front 48 megapixels 16 megapixels 5 megapixels and a 2 megapixel that the field camera um, throwing TCL UI version 3 Snapdragon 750G 45 milliamp battery battery is real good and there's the model number T810S build number and other than that other specs 
base band version and stuff like that. So this is it, TCL 20 Pro 5G, quick rundown of the settings. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anything I skimped out on, make sure you drop it in the comments and I'll come back with a later video. But so far this phone has been excellent. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the next video. I'll catch you guys on another one. We out.